Hello there and uh, welcome back to yet a, another episode in our series. So in this episode there's quite a few things we probably want to discuss through. I mean we have survived 22 cycles and two days already and I have a feeling that our colony is doing pretty well. We've gone through some pretty tough times but right now I think um, yeah let's uh, let's think and talk about a few expansion options. So looking at this scrap city over here I don't know what it is about this, but I really love the sort of look and feel, especially with the update 5, the bad tides, the bad water. It really brings this area, I can't really say back to life, it's it's the opposite. Whatever the opposite is, that's the kind of effect it has on it. it it's kind of like this overrun, uh, very ancient feeling area. I remember when I did the first Scrap City a couple of series ago, I think it was, when we first got the trains, that's when we didn't have the bad tide and the sort of texture that we have on the ground as well. It really, really gives it a bit of character. So yeah, I have high hopes for this area in, in general. I'd like to bring the beavers, maybe create some more housing in here. I definitely want to bring us to the sort of like a higher heights as well. Yeah, I guess over time we'll sort of figure out how we want to construct over here. And um, although it would be great to have lots of bots working in this area, I think this is the area where we want to have the beavers to really bring this area alive with the, I'm thinking like the, the living houses could be here and then maybe as we said entertainment could be up on this hill. And then the bots could be maybe working in the smelters, the bot part factories and who knows, wherever else. Then up on this hill, yes we are, I, I know I've been saying this for um plentitude of episodes already but we are gonna have to split this into a different uh, section or district that's the word i was looking for but we should probably wait until we have a few more uh, what is it bots yeah so with this area over here i am thinking that the district center is gonna go somewhere up on this hill what i'd like to probably do is um since we are next to the scrap city i'd like to give this hill a bit of a more like an ancient civilization feel to it and i mean with these ruins i guess this is kind of ancient but maybe maybe way back more in the days so i'd kind of like like to infuse this district center and anything else we construct over here part of this hill so maybe half of it will be like terraformed on this side and this side will be using like levees different blocks and uh, we could maybe even imagine that the reason why it's half uh, sort of like ancient is maybe there was some kind of disaster here before more like an explosive kind of disaster that created this um, or, or carved, I don't know, maybe like this junk away from the mountain, if that makes sense. Yeah, so that's the kind of vision we have for this area. Now, let's have a look what we have over here. I've given them a slightly different priorities as well. Let me speed up the time. Unfortunately, sometimes the beavers don't really have a lot of time to sleep because the distances they're running are pretty uh, ridiculous and, and yes, it, it's probably silly of me to let it go uh, go this far and definitely in inefficient, I totally admit it. But then again, so um, things are moving, things are going up, it just takes a little bit longer. What I'm thinking, right, so let's, let's start over here. I, I think this was a great idea, but we should try and uh, sort of improve it a little bit to harness even more power when there is water flow in this area. So that's uh, pretty much all the time except when we have a drought. So to do that, I am gonna carve two white channels and we'll place some of those wheels, the bigger ones. Oh yeah, those large water wheels. Now on top of that, what I was thinking to do, if we change up the construction plans a little bit, we could perhaps place and build a bit of a canal over here as well, something like like so. So I, I can't remember how deep in the water these wheels can be. Like are they are they flooding right now or are they not? Well, I guess we'll find out. Okay, so what I am thinking, whenever there is either a drought or... Oh, I see where we're gonna have the problem. We'll have to patch this up and maybe change it up um, a little bit. But anyways, if we get rid of these um, levees... Let me try and bring them up one more time. These ones over here... Okay, one, two, one, two, and change them over to... Actually, we might not need to change them up with anything. We, we just need to remove them and allow the water to go through it. So we'll create kind of like a canal around this city, or at least the foundation of the city. And then, um, yeah, we could bring it all the way around here. And then let's say that if it goes straight forward and here, that could be for the bad water. 
But if it's the normal water, the clean, lovely, tasty, juicy looking water, then we'll direct it this way. Or to the left or north, depends which kind of angle we're looking at this area. So that's the option. Now, the problem we have with that is, well, I guess the benefit is we're going to generate quite a bit of more power. The downside we have is if those wheels are going to be kind of like under the city, that means our city will be will be quite tall, if that makes sense. Yeah, so we're going to have to use, what is it, those double or triple reinforced platforms, actually the higher ones, and then start, oh, actually, we'll, we'll probably have to go even higher than this. And then we're going to have to build a ton of uh, side platforms, which we did in the last series as well, and that took quite a bit of time. I mean, fortunately, in this series, we have access to, uh, what is it, one, two, and three uh, scrap metal places, which are right next to each other. So it, it should be a little bit better. And uh, yeah, so in some ways, then this beaver city will be will be pretty high off the, off the floor. I am going to remove this for the time being, because although it sounds like a pretty cool idea, I feel if we are doing beaver venice, it wouldn't make sense if the city is like, I don't know, it probably has to be like five tiles in the in the sky, so it's not quite the same level as um, as the water level is. But, I mean, if we think about it, maybe we can just have like the central areas where things are water level, and then uh, on the sides, we can maybe hide it with some um, some other kind of buildings as well, and and cleverly build around it. I guess on this area over here, I don't really want to do it that way. Hold on a second, there's quite a bit of water going off the map, but I don't think that's what we what we really want now, is it? So what we can do is let's, uh, let's just remove a couple of levees, just like so. And is this changing anything? You guys are... Oh, hold on a second. I think we have a problem with one of the... Okay, we'll close you up as well. And now the water should be going all different directions. We might have caused a bit of a flood again, but I guess we'll see. All right, we'll quickly give you a slightly higher priority as well. And um, we should build a forester here, isn't it? Yeah, it would be nice if we can bring this area back to life just a little bit more. So here we go. Whenever the beavers have a bit of extra time, they shall construct it. And over here, I think we can do the opposite. Let's um, remove almost everything. And the way we can let this... Uh, let's have a look. We'll have to pull you from here. The way we can reforest this area is... Let's just uncheck everything and we'll let the trees go and spread around the area naturally. This seems to be okay as well. No complaints in there. I quite like this area. What I do not like, well, it is our starting area, but it just doesn't feel like the city that I uh, I want to have. Like what I mean is this area is starting to take shape quite nicely with the sort of not so boxy design and the farms and how this sort of production area is coming together as well. And we're starting to produce now the uh, and everything on the opposite side of the canal. We'll probably want to add some more houses and things in here just to make it a little bit more busy in the future. Okay, so with the rest of this area here as well, if we can, it would probably be nice to redesign it a little bit. I'm thinking, well, maybe the living spaces can remain and uh, the farms perhaps as well. We just want to maybe remove a few roads over here. It just feels like there's too many in there. And then, yeah, maybe we can get the beavers living up on these hills. A bit of entertainment on one side. Hmm. Or maybe houses over here, entertainment here. And then they can go work in the farms. And then here, I mean, we'll, yeah, we'll have to figure something out over here. Uh, let's have a look. The rest of this seems fine. I don't really want to touch this hill over here. Maybe we could, uh, yeah, generate a bit more power. This will be... Would be cool and this zone is kind of okay as well there isn't a lot of water moving through this area for some reason okay let's have a look you are flooding maybe you just need to need to switch this off for a little bit yeah let's just not let any water to go through i would like to push it through this area instead and uh, you are 1.5 okay 
Maybe we'll have to drop you a little bit more. But you are controlled by the stream cage over there. Okay, well... This one isn't though. So maybe we'll leave you at one. So there's always some water going through. Okay, right. So um, talking about future plans as well a little bit. There's all this vast area. And I know I said in the previous episode that there isn't really um, a reason for us to go here. That's sort of, um, or not being uh, included by the by the map itself. However, maybe I was wrong because there are two bad water sources over here, and it seems the water flow is is pretty juicy over here. So perhaps this is where we could generate or try to generate a bit more power. Okay, one of those canals. This one's dried up, it seems. Oh yeah, so you are 0.0, .0 you are one. Maybe we'll try and raise you to one. Okay. Here we go. And what I was thinking, maybe this is where we start doing our forestry areas. Because there is such a vast amount of space. We could do that. Literally, this whole area over here is just forestry. Then once the trees have been um, planted, taken care of, cut down, we can um, take them over to this peninsula over here. So this is the first step of our manufacturing, or I guess second step of our manufacturing process where we turn them into planks and maybe up here is where we turn them into, into gears instead. Okay, we also have the wood workshop and that could be perhaps over here. And maybe we do some plantations. Yeah, so th there's options. We could turn this whole area into sort of forestry. Okay, so let's just quickly look at this area as well. We've got one bad, bad water source over there. And then a second one over here. I do like this area. This area, however, doesn't feel like a forestry to me. This feels more like a farming, maybe, maybe a farming section. So if we manage to open up this area we could build yeah a bit of an expansion on the farms and do like the the, the water dump trick over here as well just to green it up a little bit and then uh, yeah we're back in uh, back in here and of course once we do expand all this far i would like to make this as realistic as possible in a way so try and follow the contour lines and not uh, sort of destroy the rivers any further than we already have but you know plans and things might change now to keep this all going obviously we can't have the beavers or the pots run into everything so that is probably the point in time where we might introduce the trains again i think we've only had them in one of our series right because the last one we didn't really really play with them so it, it, yeah it would be great to bring the trains back now we've been talking about the plans for quite some time i hope i do not forget about those genius plans that we have now, looking at this area over here, let's uh, talk about the Scrap City again, and maybe let's try and re-sort of furbish it a little bit. Okay, great, we've got, what is it, three bots now, four of them, oh wow. Okay, so right now the bottleneck is, I believe it's the spare parts, isn't it? Oh yeah, efficiency, you've uh, started doing next one. Let's change this over to a bot. Okay, so all factories are now run by the by the bots, which is great. We'll get two more and then we can have the assembly itself uh, run by bots as well. And uh, okay, so the problem we have right now is we are producing scrap metal here. And then they get stored in these large industrial piles. Now, when someone wants to produce a metal, they have to go all the way around to gather and pick it up from there. So what I'm thinking, these storages over here should be for explosives and gears and treated planks instead. And then um, somewhere in the middle here, because we have one, two and three efficient mines, somewhere around here is where we should uh, store all the scrap metal. Oh yeah, so uh, storing scrap over here will be a little bit more efficient. Now, I don't want to cover up any of those canals. I really want to see all this bad water. I mean, if it's like um, like we've done over here, this is fine. And uh, yeah, we're not going to cover up more of it. Uh, this I'd like to keep, so um, <laughs> how shall we go about this? Maybe we could remove them. Try and place down a couple of large industrial piles over here to hold all the, all the scrap metal. And then, uh, yeah, rebuild the metal areas. I mean, we've got 157 right now. And... 
everyone has a job so i reckon they could build it if we give them a high priority they could build it pretty quickly uh right so stuff over here they've cleaned it up a little bit that is great everything else you guys built those areas already oh yes you have but we don't have the range for the last ones uh that's unfortunate but oh well let's just uh leave it for the for the time being what is out of energy why are you even here you're bringing blanks oh wait but you don't need blanks do you no you shouldn't need any blanks oh hold on a second maybe they do well since we do have the beavers what are we turn on one of you again however power might be a bit of an issue now okay well let's see how is our this area going oh you're not even gonna be able to construct this up now are you but that's a little embarrassing i guess we're gonna have to change up the access just a little bit okay there you go give this the highest of priorities as well and hopefully we can have it completed in no time. Next one, power comes over. It's going to cross. Oh, hold on a second. We do have access over here, though. Yep, go over here. And then this one goes down. You're going to connect to right here as well. Oh, actually, you don't have to. Because if we leave the charging stations over here, then we should be fine. So that, yeah, it's a little bit awkward here as well. Might have to figure out. Maybe we cut off this link over here if you want to make it a bit more efficient. But in some ways, it, it, it's not going to be too efficient. Okay. Anyways, we've got the manpower, the beaver power, the bot power. And um, let's change this up just a little bit. Okay, we are going to remove everything in this area. And uh, hopefully it will... Oh, I see. The power was flowing through there, wasn't it? Well, that is a bit of a problem. Let's, uh, let's just try and have a quick look how are we going to fix this situation so i mean over here we were thinking of having another warehouse anyways wasn't it what if we do something like this okay you might say this is not a great idea however okay i think we finally have something over here so let's take a quick look uh right let me highlight or bring down the the level so at the bottom level we are gonna have three of those uh, large industrial piles uh, facing each other and i've connected them up with the roads as well and in this tile over here right this one i hope you can see it there is actually a ladder over here so uh, connection wise we we are okay and all of them are gonna be holding let's have a look scrap metal over here actually this might change a little bit but um, yeah, so ideas is, idea is uh, scrap metal. Now bring it up a level and we have the uh, smelters. We're going to build four of them over here and to connect power. It is a quick uh, high power shaft that uh, will link it up. And the reason I've done it this way, I don't want to create like a little loop that they can just run around different ways. I think if we, of course, if we change our mind, we can probably do it a little bit differently in the future. But right now, I'd kind of want to force this to be a dead end or, yeah, dead end. And that's exactly what I'm trying to say here. Because if um, there is like another road that they can take, then potentially they might not make those other routes busy or they might not take them at all. We are going to need metal pretty soon though. So why don't you guys focus on this area first? Yep, that's right. Let's make sure that everyone comes to this this area and we make sure these buildings are done okay at least we've got the large industrial piles already done what about this one here vertical shaft is completed which means we can give you access to these two as well obviously with the highest of priorities because otherwise it will never get done because i'm gonna forget about it as well next one we need is a corner piece and oh dear yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> Priorities. You are gonna need to be done ASAP. Because otherwise our bots cannot recharge themselves. And that's gonna be very, very sad. Oh, here we go. Okay, almost done. If we can get this linked up over here. Then that means we should have power in the, the chargers as well. How many bots do we have already? Two and one. 
Hmm. Pretty sure I thought that we, we had a few extra ones. Okay. Anyways, you're complaining about materials. Well, that's okay. And you are full of coffee. We should probably give you a bit more storage base as well, isn't it? A couple of those trees have been expanding rather too quickly. Uh, <laughs> beavers injured, out of... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what the problem is. Let's have a look at those mangroves here as well. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. This forest seems to be working. This one here, not quite. Oh, maybe we didn't click this properly before. Maybe that's why it's not working anymore. Well, we've uh, got a couple more hours and then we shall see. And here we go. Our beaver is finally arriving to the workplace. And that's exactly what the problem was. I thought I clicked it, but oh well. Anyways, this zone is coming to life pretty nicely as well. They've, uh, no, they've not really started building anything here yet. But that's okay. We've got some high priorities right about here. Okay, power has been restored. The bots are hopefully back in these factories. Got five bots right now. Everyone has a jump. So, okay, so they, they should be fine. And um, these were the ones where we wanted to have a bit more scrap metal. So I think it's okay. So yeah, this one over here. Anything else we need to bring here? Maybe some logs? Right, so for some reason, when we click the button, let me guess. Oh no, this one's all good here. Ah, uh, not those last two trees. Um, I am a little bit disappointed. So I'm not going to give up. Right, we're going to do another one here. And let's see. That is now in range, so we can be happy. Pause you, and let's just make sure this box is ticked. Oh yeah, we've not unlocked the biggest one just yet. Perhaps we place you over here. It does take a bit of metal, but it seems our stockpiles are going up quite quite nicely already. Uh, right, bad water. Nope, that's not the one. Extract. That's exactly what we would like to store over here. All right, next things. I think the rest we can pretty much leave for the time being. Oh dear, okay, I just noticed. I think I was trying or hoping to create a bit of power production in here as well, but right now, since there's nothing that consumes power here, I don't think we really need to. And I mean, it's the same with this hill over here as well. For some reason, I thought it would be great to put some wheels down in here, but right now, I don't know. It, it, it just creates so much work trying to pull those power lines through when we know that this zone, I, at least I hope it's going to change up a little bit. Okay, let's uh, come back over here. This area is a little bit more interesting. So we've left this little kind of like a back door in here in case we want to direct this water through the side of the mountain. Oh, hold on a second. It's up there where we wanted to send it. But you are a little bit lower. Hmm. Well, I mean, we could still do it if we let the water, let's see, something like so. That's a lot of levees that we are going to need to build over here, though. But it might be pretty cool. Again, if it was folk tales, I probably wouldn't want to use this many levees. And I want to make it more natural. But since it is iron teeth, I think it would kind of make sense a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, we've got a bad tide approaching as well. Lovely. So maybe less uh, playing around in this area. And uh, let's have a look at some more... I don't want to say critical, but more um, relevant stations. Okay, what are you guys up to? You seem to be wanting to build up this zone in here. We've got quite a few levees already, which is great. Um, you've got better access now to here as well. So that's awesome. Let me just slow down the time. It, it does get a bit laggy. Okay, higher priority for this. Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely want to connect it up as soon as possible. And while you look at that, we've got a ton of beavers that are already devouring all these dead trees. Okay, and then all we got to do is let's just bring those roads through. Give them a little bit more access. Okay, lovely. Now what we can do is let's just finish off all of the uh, dynamites as well okay you guys can go there and uh, hopefully i think they should have range right yeah um don't mind me i'm uh, not gonna leave those roads doubled up over here i'm just kind of trying to remind make sure i don't forget that this is important 
um, for the power production. So the roads are going to be actually one tile away and probably maybe no, not entirely sure, but we'll see. We are going to need to give beavers a little bit more time to place the, uh, the rest of the dynamites as well, but that shouldn't take too long since we are going to give them the highest of priorities, of course. Okay, here we go. 2.0 days until the bad tide starts. And we are a quarter of the way there. If we get all those dynamites done today, especially one row, yeah, then I can... Actually, yeah, what we can already do... I would like to place them here, but do you know what? We might not have enough time to get it all done, so... Let's give you a slightly... Oh, hold on a second. Never mind. It's not gonna work out because the uh, the levee wall is not done over here. So that doesn't matter too much now, does it? No. Okay, what can we do then? Right now they're coming from this area, they're going back. It takes a little bit longer for sure. But if we can get the bottom levels done, then things might work out again. And the same goes... Oh yeah, everything over here. I mean, we've got the army right now, so it. Hmm, I can see what's going to happen over here. Someone is definitely going to get stuck, and that's not going to be funny. At least we get the, uh, the dynamite done, so this is great, I suppose. But we're still not going to be able to divert all of that bad water where we want it to go. I mean, we might be able to sort of contain it in, into this area and then allow it to flow through the canal over here. I guess we shall see. So um, yeah, just one day left and uh, let's cut the episode here. Let's see what happens in the next one when the bad tide starts in one day. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon.